So I'm just gonna come out and say this right now. Nobody likes cashiers. I mean, I think we can all relate to this in the sense that we've all experienced this guy. So yeah, there's a reason that cashiers are always at the bottom of the rung. They're the unfortunate necessary foundation of the store, and probably if we could find a way to get rid of them, we would. At least that's what I used to think. But after working for Walmart for a couple of weeks, I learned that cashiers are in fact some of the most underappreciated workers in America. You see, I was actually really lucky because I didn't have to work during the holidays because I ended up having to quit whenever my family moved to South Dakota. However, even in my small time working there, I realized that cashiers' jobs are actually harder than you might think. I gained a whole new respect for cashiers. So much so that I no longer look at cashiers the same whenever I go to the store. So in honor of cashiers, Black Friday, and the American Dream, here are three reasons that cashiers deserve way more respect. Number one, a cashier's job is really boring. When I worked at Walmart, I quickly realized that 70% of the time, it is some of the most dull work you could ask for. Cashiers had to always be at their register, ready to check someone out. Not in a creepy way. But cashiers spend all their days standing and scanning items out. Believe me, it does not take a lot of muscle movement to scan items across. Shoot, a toddler could do that. Of course, cashiers at Walmart don't spend all their time standing behind their register. They also spend some time standing in front of their aisle. Seriously, can I just real quick go on a rant about how much I hate redlining? I mean, seriously, what is the point of it? Honestly, I could probably do an entire video about how much I hate redlining. But, of course, that would probably change this video into a why I hate management. But, uh, you know, some of them might be needing to offer me a job at some point. So, I won't burn my bridges. So, anyway, let's move on to the next point. Number two, cashiers put up with everything. So, you know that 30% of the time that cashiers actually have something to do? Well, way to go. Now they have to put up with all this junk that customers give them. Seriously, it's a never-ending battle. I want it for free! But we can't price match for over 50%. But I want it for free! One hour later. Did you scan all 50 of those coupons for me? I, uh, had it like that. You offer me coupons. You offer me coupons. I, I, I... Three hours later. Hey, you got the limited edition Black Friday TV. I wanted that. Well, you'll just have to wait until next year. Give it! Uh, sir, 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 why could I get the day off? Six and a half hours later. Hey, uh, you gonna pay for that? Talk to the hand. In fact, just so you guys will stop making cashiers so annoyed, here are three tips for not making cashiers hate you when you go to the store. Number one, no coupons. Number two, no WIC transactions. Those are really hard to do. And number three, no price matches. Just in my short time working at Walmart, the most annoying thing ever was when someone brought in a cartload of stuff and wanted it for a discounted price. And then they'd always have something where they wanted it like half price or something crazy, and then they'd be like, oh, I have an ad, and it's just like, you know, the easy thing is just to give them their price match, but deep in your heart you know it's wrong, so you do the right thing. But I want it for free! And last but certainly not least, number three, cashiers get all the blame. Anytime a payment fails, or you can't price match something, or a return denies, then cashiers are the ones that get all the blame for it. Like, guys, come on. They're not in charge of running this store, they're just the workers. It's not like they have any say on whether or not you get that precious 50 cents off your can of peas. Seriously, people, take some personal responsibility. Cashiers are just normal people. They live their everyday lives having to work at this store, deal with customers every day, go home, sleep for a few hours, and come back and do it all over again. And honestly, that's the reason why I have so much respect for cashiers now, because I couldn't do that. You know, I couldn't live a life where all I did was stand in front of a register. I couldn't stick with it like they do. Now that I've had a taste for what it's like 
I don't ever want to go back. I don't want to go back to a situation where I live day to day and never feel fulfilled. And that is the biggest reason why I feel cashiers deserve way more respect. Because they don't quit. They stick with it, whereas a lot of people don't. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why next time you go to Walmart, maybe don't treat the cashiers as garbage. And to all you cashiers watching, thank you guys for everything you do. You guys rock. Nine hours later. I am John Connor. As your new manager at Walmart, I want to make sure that everything is going well for our cashiers, which is, of course, you guys. So, first of all, I wanted to point out, Todd, um, your, your transaction speed is fantastic. I like what you're doing with how fast you're doing it. What I don't like is that you're doing it all wrong. You've got to do it right, all right? Now, Vinny, your consistency is fantastic, but you're going way too slow. Is that clear? So you need to be fast, you need to be accurate, all right? And if we do that, we can form a better world by working together. Oh my. You're terminated.